everyone, this is uh, Radical Karim and uh, welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to solve the more concept uh, from uh, 2019, uh, question uh, B, Pi Science Paper 2, which is uh, chemistry. So, I'm going to show you how you can be able to answer these uh, questions. So, if you're new to my channel, please make sure you, you do subscribe so that uh, you don't miss any single um, any single video from us, the Radical Academy. So let's dive into this uh, section. So the question reads um, the statement uh, Magnesium oxide reacts with uh, dilute sulfuric acid, as shown below. Magnesium oxide plus sulfuric acid plus equals uh, magnesium sulfate plus uh, water. And then we have been told that 600 of uh, magnesium oxide was uh, released with uh, 980 grams of uh, yield sulfuric acid. Determine the limiting reagent in the reaction above. A C, a B, calculate the mass of magnesium sulfate that was obtained at the end of the reaction to max. Uh, C, 180 grams of magnesium sulfate was uh, obtained at the end of the reaction. Calculate the percentage yield. Okay, so let us uh, answer these questions. So we're going to start with uh, the first question determine the limiting reagent. So, in order for you to find uh, the limiting reagent, okay you have to look at uh, is the equation balanced so i'm just gonna copy this one so i'm going to say magnesium plus sulfuric acid uh, is equal to magnesium magnesium uh, sulfate uh, plus h2o water so from the look of the things this equation is already balanced so there is nothing to worry about so you can just dive into the uh, direct uh, solving of uh, finding the limiting reagent so from there now what you're saying is that um, all you have to do is uh, find the relative molecular mass for this one as well as for this one so in order to find the relative molecular mass, uh, we know that magnesium is uh, this. We can do this. So this is one multiplied by sixteen, which is the mass number of uh, magnesium oxygen, and uh, one multiplied by twenty-four for magnesium. This will give us sixteen, and this will give us twenty-four. And now you can add them together, and this is a uh, ten carry one. Uh, 1 plus 2 is uh, 3 plus this one is 40. So we have 40 grams per mole. And then you also do the same with uh, sulfuric acid. So this is going to be that. Then like that. So 4 multiplied by 16 and 1 multiplied by 32. And also uh, 2 multiplied by 1, which is the mass number of hydrogen and this is going to give us 64 and this is uh, 32 and this is also 2 you also add them then you'll be able to get 98 grams per mole now once you do that uh, you're going to say now find find the moles in each so find the moles in each. So you know that number of moles equals to mass over the mister. Since you are dealing with a compound, and for start with uh, magnesium, so the mass of magnesium is 600. So this is uh, 600 grams, and this is 980 grams. Okay. And then from there, you are going to say uh, the mass given this divide by uh, this 40 grams per mole. Okay, and this is just going to give us, um, so this will give us uh, 15, 15 moles. Okay, 
15 moles of magnesium oxide. And then you also do the same with uh, this uh, sulfuric acid, so number of moles. The sulfuric acid is uh, 980. 980 grams divided by uh, 98 grams per mole. And this is going to give us uh, just the 10, uh, I mean 10 moles. Ten moles of sulfuric acid. Okay, so now once you reach at this point, once you reach at this point, now you can find the mole ratio uh, by comparing. So the one with the less number of moles is the one that is uh, limiting. So when you compare the number of moles, uh, sulfuric acid, as well as the magnesium. Okay, so from there you can see that um, these are actual number of moles and then from the equation, what the equation tells you to say you have one mole of magnesium oxide re reacted with one mole of sulfuric acid to produce one mole of magnesium sulfate and one mole of water. So meaning that uh, we required the actual, what is available is 10 moles, okay? The actual number of moles is uh, uh, 10 for magnesium oxide. I mean, sorry, for sulfuric acid is 10. So now, how do you know? So let me just show you, because sometimes you cannot just tell that the one with the less number of moles is the one that's going to be a limiting. But you can also have this concept of where you compare uh, magnesium, okay, divide by with uh, sulfuric acid. So magnesium oxide is a uh, 15 divided by the one if uh, this uh, 10, um, 10, yeah. So we're just going to get 1.5, okay? So 1.5. So when you get this 1.5, uh, this is the, the actual uh, required, I mean the actual number of moles of uh, magnesium oxide to the ratio of uh, uh, the reacting moles. Okay, so the reacting moles is just one to one. So one to one. So just uh, magnesium over this sulfuric acid. So we are getting these numbers from the reacting reaction. This is just one. So what this means is that uh, what is available for magnesium is 1.5 but uh, we only require to use one. So you remain with 0 0.5 available, okay? 0 0.5 available. Okay, so meaning uh, this is okay, this is in excess, and uh, the one that is in, uh, in less uh, excess is obviously uh, sulfuric acid. So the one with uh, less number of moles. So we are going to use this one to determine now whatever is going to be produced um, after the reaction is completed, okay? Either the magnesium or sulfate or the water there, okay? So now we can say, therefore, therefore, sulfuric acid is the limit. is a limiting reagent. It's a limiting reagent. So from there now, you can uh, simply say uh, that this is a uh, limiting reagent. Okay. And the next question is, uh, calculate the mass of magnesium sulfate that was obtained at the end of the reaction. Okay. So from there, what you just need to do is, uh, uh, we have been told magnesium sulfate. Okay. So we are going to use the mass of this uh, sulfuric acid to determine the mass of this uh, magnesium sulfate. So what you are going to do is, uh, 
we know that uh, let's find the molar mass for this one. Okay, so from this one you have 4 times uh, 16 and 1 multiplied by 32 and 1 multiplied by 24. So this is uh, 64 and this is 32 and this is 24. Then you add these numbers, it's going to be uh, this is uh, 6 plus this one is uh, 10, uh, carry 1, and this is uh, 9, 10, 11, 4. Okay, uh, something like uh, 100 and the okay. So now what you have is um, the molar mass of magnesium sulfate is now this 120 okay 120 so what you're going to do is uh, we're going to uh, use some comparative uh, method or rather just the compared method so we know that uh, the magnesium uh, the sulfuric acid which is which was uh, the limiting uh, reagent is that uh, it gave us um, it gave us uh, they gave us 98 as uh, the mass of the sulfuric acid and you are going to use this uh, mass in order to find the mass of this one since you, sulfuric acid is the limiting reagent okay and uh, we know that uh, its mass is uh, 98 I mean 9, 8, so this is uh, the mass of sulfuric acid. So from there, what you do now is, you say 98, uh, this uh, produced X of uh, the magnesium uh, sulfate. And then we know that uh, the relative molecular mass of sulfuric acid is just uh, 98 grams okay so we are going to say 98 is equal to now the relative molecular mass of sodium i mean magnesium sulfate so magnesium sulfate which is just uh, 120 okay and we are going to cross multiply and this will give us 98 x is equal to 980 multiplied by 120 then you divide both sides by this and by that so this this goes so our x will be equal to 98 there it's 1, 98, 98, 8 there it's uh, just uh, 10. Then from there you have 1,200 uh, grams of so magnesium sulfate. Okay. So therefore, therefore, mass mass of magnesium sulfate is equal to 1200 grams okay so that is the mass of uh, magnesium sulfate okay now the last question in this uh, part is now finding the percentage last question is now finding the percentage yield now so calculate the percentage yield of this magnesium sulfate okay so a magnesium sulfate uh, see we know that uh, we have been given the mass is a uh, this 180 grams of magnesium sulfate was obtained and uh, the way we calculate the percentage yield is just uh, 
we say uh, at to mass actual mass over theoretical mass multiplied by 100 percent okay so from there uh, percentage field now the actual mass is the mass that is um, is the mass that is uh, given okay you have to understand that okay so the actual mass is 1080 um, 1080 grams okay. divide by the theoretical mass now theoretical mass Theoretical mass is equal to the one that you have just calculated, okay? Yes. So we say 1,200. So we have this uh, multiplied by 1,200. Okay, so this, this goes. So from there now, we're going to so it is going to give us 0 0.9 multiply by 100 percent and this is going to be so this will just be 90 percent so therefore percentage yield of magnesium sulfate is 90 percent okay so this is how you go about calculating the percentage yield and just solving the question so if you want to learn more about this question please or just in general the whole topic about uh, the more concept you can check out our channel our video uh, on chemistry so there is a full package of uh, a video on this particular topic the more concept you can find it on our channel radical garden so thank you so much for watching guys please make sure that uh, you do subscribe for more uh, videos like this one and that is bye bye i will see you in the next video thank you